My name is Greg Zappone, and I'm a senior analyst for a company in Atlanta, Georgia, that makes commercial real estate loans. I'm not an actor. Um, I work with numbers, so this is outside of my uh, normal area of expertise, but it is an area that the Lord has called me into. And I'm excited about it. Uh, it will just glorify Him all the more. And what He has done is He has put into my heart a, well, call it a, a holy discontent for where we've been as a country and as a nation for a while now. And in so doing, He has called me into the fray of the culture war by producing a movie. It's about a president who becomes a believer during his first term in office. The second third of the movie is him through a concentrated study of the Word of God from uh, mature believers. His worldview begins to change from a secular humanistic worldview to a biblical worldview. He challenges our country to vote whom we will serve going forward, just like Joshua did to the Israelites in the book of Joshua. Last third of the book is him campaigning for biblical worldview candidates while the the um, vice president and the uh, media that are firmly encamped in the humanistic secular worldview, they're campaigning for um, those type of candidates. Established at the very beginning of the movie is a terrorist threat that um, is threaded throughout and at the very end that culminates with the general election in an extraordinary way. I wanted to leave you with a quote from um, Second Chronicles that you've probably heard before. It's Second Chronicles 7, 13 through 14. And that is, when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. It is you and I as believers that must go before the Lord. And as Del Tackett says in his series, The Truth Project, darkness runs from light, it cannot overtake it. If darkness is spreading across the land, it's because someone is hiding the light, or worse, because Jesus is removing the lampstand from its place. And that reminds me of Re Revelations 2.5, which says, Remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. And I believe we are there now as a nation. So please consider, and if the Lord lays it on your heart to uh, contribute to this kind of kingdom work, um, please contact me, and I thank you very much for your time.